Hi guys, it's Graham again and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a book unboxing for you and the parcel that I'm about to open comes all the way from Persephone Books in London. Uh, I feel like I have done my bit in supporting independent businesses, um, especially in the climate that we currently find ourselves in uh, during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic and subsequent lockdown. Um, as I film this, Scotland is still in lockdown um, and there's a route map being put in place, almost pretty much the same as what Boris Johnson has done for England. Uh, but anyway, besides that, let's get into the, to the unboxing. So I have bought two things from Persephone. Um, I have bought a book and, um, and the, the Persephone napkin, which I'm really quite excited for. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get into the package. Um, oh, this just, I'll show you the napkin first. This is gorgeous. Uh, it can be used apparently as a headscarf, as a neck scarf, a hanky, a napkin. A cushion cover they've suggested as well even um, it's gorgeous it's uh, the label says it's rewrap uh, recycle reclaim reinvent um, rewrap.com not for profit um, and they've actually the design that they've used on the napkin is uh, from this book here which is the far cry by Emma Smith. Now I have, haven't read this one yet, um, but yeah, I'll get to it eventually. I've got lots of Persephone's and I'm about to add one more to my collection and I'm so happy about it. Um, so yeah, the, the design on here, the napkin, is the same, well elements of it apparently are the same. Are they? Yes they are. So the same there. Now unfortunately I don't have the bookmark for this edition because I do believe that I got this second hand um, and the bookmark wasn't in it. So with Persephone books they come mostly in this gorgeous dove grey uh, colour with the title in the little box there. On the spine you've got the title and then you have the, the picture of Persephone um, the same as on the front. On the back you have the, per the picture of Persephone and the catalogue number of the book. Um, you don't get a, a synopsis of the book so you get a bit of uh, a bit of text that happens in the story. Um, now I haven't read this one but I will get to it um, but I just showed you this because it's the same, uh, they use the same end paper design for the napkin and this is absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to find a use for it. Um, on the website, on the Persephone website, if I can just open it, it says the Persephone napkin is made for us by a women's cooperative in India and can be used in a thousand different ways. A napkin, a handkerchief, a headscarf, a neck scarf, a muslin, a cushion cover or you can wrap up your Persephone books in it. The design is the fabric we used as the end paper for Emma Smith's novel The Far Cry with a line drawing of our logo in the corner. Oh, there's a... Oh, so there is. There we go. I never saw that. <laughs> and that's Persephone. <laughs> so that's the that's the first thing from my, my little Persephone haul today. And I'm so happy. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous, but... What I'm going to use it for, I don't know. Um, this retails for £5 on the Persephone website and it's £5 very well spent because it is beautiful quality. Um, and like I say, and like I've said lots of times already, I'm excited about this. Um, so let's get to the book. Now, I have already read this book, not in the Persephone edition, um, but I have, I have read the book. And it's a bit damaged. Oh, that's not good. Um, so it's A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. Um, and this is one number 134 in the Persephone catalogue. Um, the, oh, the end papers. Oh my God. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And I'll, right, I'll take the, I'll take the dust jacket off. I'm going to have to do a bit of surgery on that. It's a bit, a bit dented. 
It's a wee bit dense, so it is. Right, okay, so the end papers look like that. And aren't they just gorgeous? That is so vivid. Um, I think there's something about this having been a wallpaper in a house that Virginia Woolf lived in. Um, so we shall see. I will, I will read the title page because that's usually where the information about the end papers is. My goodness, I can't even do this properly. My dear sweet lord. Right, okay, so that's that back on. Um, and obviously it comes with the, the gorgeous um, bookmark as well. Uh, right, okay, so I shall read you the inside. Um, so this appears somewhere in the book. But it is obvious that the values, but it is obvious that the values of women differ very often from the values which have been made by the other sex. Naturally, this is so. Yet it is the masculine values that prevail. Speaking crudely, football and sport are important. The worship of fashion, the buying of clothes, trivial. And these values are inevitably transferred from life to fiction. This is an important book. The critic assumes because it deals with war. This is an insignificant book because it deals with the feelings of women in a drawing room. The whole structure, therefore, of the early C-19 novel was raised. If one was a, if one was a woman by a mind which was slightly pulled from the straight and made to alter its clear vision in deference to external authority, and I thought of all the women's novels that lie scattered like small pockmarked apples in an orchard about the second-hand bookshops of London, it was the flaw in the centre that had rotted them. She had altered her values in deference of the opinion of others. And yes, so I do believe that that appears in the book. I don't think that's like a, a introduction or anything. Um, right, okay, so um, this was originally published by Hogarth Press in 1929. Uh, published by Persephone Books in 2019. Um, the end papers uh, take from Stripe, a 1930 textile design by Vanessa Bell. Um, I'm sure I read somewhere that it was used, it was a wallpaper in one of v Virginia Woolf's homes. I would have that as a wallpaper any day of the week. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, I, I look really forward to getting to this book again. I, I did enjoy it the first time round. I read it about five or six years ago. It was when we first moved into this house, actually. Um, it was one of the first books that I unpacked. It was at the top of a box and yeah, so I, I read it. <laughs> and I did enjoy it. It was my first, um, my first foray into Virginia Woolf. So far, I've only read two Virginia Woolfs. Uh, so this was one of them. Um, a Room of One's Own, and the other was Mrs Dalloway, which I need to read again because I'm not sure I got it. And I know that might sound silly, um, but it was the, I think it's the stream of consciousness writing that sometimes flummoxes me a little bit. Um, it's just kind of, yeah, it's a bit, it can be a bit much, I feel. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just not seeing the, the deep value of it. Um, but yeah. So that is my little Persephone haul. You can get these on the Persephone website. Um, I'm not sponsored in any way. I just, I'm, I'm passionate about Persephone books, as you can see, um, and lovely pieces of, of, of artistic um, apparel. <laughs> I need to find a use, a use for it, um, but it's absolutely gorgeous and I'm so happy. Um, this one, is five pounds on the on the website and postage is included. And I can't remember how much the postage was. I think it was, I think for it, the entirety of this, I paid 23 pounds. So I think, yeah, the postage was a fiver. Um, and obviously in this time of uh, COVID-19, they're taking slightly longer to, to process orders and send them out. Um, so it was, it was a, a bit longer uh, for me for waiting for this, this book, but, I knew that I'd get it and it was something that I was looking forward to. Um, 
So, yeah, I, I, this arrived in the post two days ago and I've been waiting to make this video and also it, it's given, it's given, <laughs> it's given COVID-19 a chance to die off if it was on the, the, the envelope. Because <laughs> um, apparently it lives for 24 hours on cardboard. Um, so it's had 48. So there we go. It's totally gone. Um, how paranoid, how paranoid is that? Um, I haven't quite gone to the, the depths of um, sanitising shopping when it comes in, um, but like post things I, I have left for, for an amount of time before I've opened them, um, simply because so many people have handled them. Um, and yeah, that's just, that's just how it goes nowadays, I suppose. Wash your hands, stay clean stay indoors. <laughs> um, anyway, I've blathered on a bit much now. Um, I just wanted to show you my, my new Persephone book, uh, A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf, and my gorgeous, absolutely stunning piece of fabric with a beautiful design on. Um, thank you so much for watching. Whatever you're doing, I hope you have so much fun doing it. Whatever you're reading, I hope you love it. Stay fabulous, be amazing, be yourself, stay safe. And I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye-bye.